Hi guys, it's Tony from RaceGamesReviews.com. The first of two uploads having a look at the new safe part tables that came to Pinball FX2 this week. Uh, you can pick it up for $3.99 I think it is in the UK for uh, the two table pack, which I include the table we're looking at now. Also a table for butters. Uh, same price runs the same for uh, PlayStation owners. Probably everyone else as well, I think. I think it's $3.99 mostly everywhere. Or you can pick up on certain formats. Now you can pick up the single tables for $1.99. Uh, but I'll put a link in the description below which uh, takes you to the website where I've got all the full information on that. If you want to go and check that out. Uh, yeah, so this is the. I think they call it. Kimura, you're competing in a variety. Super sweet pinball table. Uh, like I say, uh, I've had a couple of hours last night, late last night. I think I got it about 12 o'clock. Got the review code sent to me. Uh, it's kind of hard to review pinball tables in all honesty. I mean, you can't really say that well. I mean, basically, they've got all the same kind of premise, which is. Few ramps here and there, a couple of quests. It all depends on what, what the genre of the table is. I mean, this one being safe park, it's mostly been Marvel lately. For the uh, pinball FX2, so it's kind of nice to see a change, I suppose, from having all that Marvel, a lot Iron Man and Spider Man chucked at you, which I'm not kind of a big fan of. I mean, I watch the films and stuff, but I wouldn't say, oh, you know, I'm as mad on it as some are. I, mean, I used to watch safe park back in the day when I was younger. Uh, but I kind of great out of it. I mean, I think we all do. Uh, it gets to a point in life where you kind of realise that some certain things aren't funny anymore. Uh, but yeah, I kind of got to that and I didn't watch it anymore. But, you know, I've got, I mean, I played the recent Stick of Truth game, which I still found funny. Uh, so, you know, this kind of, I wouldn't say it captures the same kind of funniness that that game had, but, you know, it certainly captures what Safe Park is. The only downside is, is the kind of repetitive voiceovers that'll hit the table. I mean, it, it normally happens in every pinball table that's released, but the previous ones I've kind of just pushed that to the side because it hasn't been quite up front as easy with Safe Park. I mean, obviously with Safe Park, the main thing is the characters, so they're obviously going to use as much, you know, the voices and the characters as they can to get, kind of push the Safe Park on you. So, but it kind of gets to a point where you've heard, you know, shades of Timmy when you're falling down the ramps, not the 20th time in like two minutes. It just get a little bit annoying. And like Cartman, uh, constantly yapping it on, like you can hear him doing there. Uh, and then you got the Kenny mumbling and stuff. Like I say, each character's got like a little quest of their own. Yeah, the only ones I've done so far, I think, is Cartman. He's kind of like shooting ramp, writes his letters up, and uh, lights his letters up, sorry, and uh, you get an anal pro come out of his bum, and then you have to kind of shoot a ship down. So that's the kind of typical thing you can expect. Uh, there's also Chef and stuff on there, you can see there. Kind of the main quest is to light, do all them like mini quests to light up the safe park. Let's run at the bottom of the table. That give you like a wizard mode, which in turn gives you four balls then to hit up the ramps of the main, four main characters, which is Cartman, Kenny, Stan and Coyle. So I haven't done that just yet, so I can't really talk about that. And that is a table worth buying. And at the moment for me, probably be worth to try before you buy, because like I say, the repetitive voiceover work did get on me a little bit after a while, so I had to kind of turn it off and have a break from it. But I'll play some more today. Hopefully you type some up in the uh, next couple of days. Uh, I'll have the butter's table a bit later on, so if you want to check that one out. Uh, thanks for watching, speak to you soon. Bye. Cute little bunny dies! Then these scary aliens wanted to operate on me. <laughs>